Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Shit I Like That You Hate, a monthly installment where I talk about games that are considered crap that I actually enjoyed. Now, I will say this as a disclaimer. Do not compare these games on the list to each other. I will have a range of underrated to complete crap on this list. As such, do not think that I hold Ninja Gaiden in the same regard as I do the following game. And without further ado, that game is Smuggler's Run War Zones. This game... Ugh. You ever wonder what would happen if American idealism was mixed with smuggling and racing? Yeah, I didn't want to know either. So, we have this byproduct. Listen, this better not be drugs. Simply put, you drive around picking shit up and drop shit off, all without ever leaving the comfort of your vehicle. Poor quality videos loosely tie missions together as you go through one of the most frustrating smuggling games I've ever played. <laughs> uh, just kidding. It's the only smuggling game I've ever played. All I have to say is this game is long, repetitive, and difficult. What kind of game makes you lose health for doing cool jumps? Not to mention the only way to really lose in this game is for you to either run out of time or you get pummeled by cop cars. Basically, this game sucks the living fun out of itself by making the off-road driving more about obeying the rules of physics than enjoying what should be fundamentally awesome. Who even made this piece of shit? Oh, I take it back. This game is a stepping stone to one of the most notable franchises of a generation. Then why do you ask, is it on my list? Well first, let me explain something about being a gaming kid. Video games are expensive. Being a kid with no disposable income, you're limited in the games you can play and try out. Oftentimes, you would have to wait for Christmas or your birthday to get any new titles, rentals aside, of course. And when those times came, you only got one new game you actually wanted, and two games you really didn't. At this point, you're forced into playing two games you would have never even looked twice at. Smuggler's Run was one of those games. The second thing I have to explain is the concept of make your own fun. I would take a game, beat it, decide it wasn't fun enough, then add additional rules to the game. Take Halo for instance. Xbox Live hadn't been invented yet, and I'd play the campaign to death. My friends would come over, and I would destroy them every single time at regular deathmatch. So, I made it fun. I made a game type called Bumper Cars. Two players drive warthogs, and two players take the passenger seats with rocket launchers. The point was to flip the opposing team's vehicle and run them over. Additional rules included no shooting rockets when any players are outside of their vehicles, and only kills from driving over people counted. It was really fun. Taking game mechanics and slightly altering them and adding a few house rules was a recipe for hours of amusement. One last thing I need to mention. Growing up, my parents would always force me to play multiplayer games with my younger brother. If you were a kid with siblings who also liked video games, this changed the way you played games. If you had a friend who basically lived at your house or a sibling, your library almost always consisted of multiplayer or co-op games. As such, multiplayer is a huge part of how I assess games even to this day. Smuggler's Run had a multiplayer mode and also had something special. It was called Joyriding. In this mode, there were three basic generated maps. These maps were actually fairly large considering when the game came out. Me and my brother began our adventure in this large map by simply exploring. Eventually we got bored and started smacking into each other. This proved amusing. Then we started driving away from each other as the other person tried to smack into us. This was even more fun. Then we called it tag and suddenly it was the best thing ever. We spent countless hours playing tag, smacking into each other and having a blast. My poor friends came over one weekend soon after discovering tag and they were excited to play the usual multiplayer games we played together. But, as soon as they got in the house, I was ecstatic. I was all like, guys, guys, you have to come play this game, I made cool rules! You could see it in their faces, they were not happy that Halo wasn't the first thing they got to play. They begrudgingly took forced GameCube controllers and listened as I explained my overly simplistic game mode. Needless to say, that was one of the best multiplayer sessions I can remember. Simply put, sometimes game designers accidentally make gold without even realizing it. Smuggler's Run Warzone is a piece of shit I like that you hate.